Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sugimori, and I'm going to do a replay, replay cast of a game I played earlier today on stream. Unfortunately, the stream wasn't recording um, the video for some reason, just the audio, so I'm just going back and casting the replay for these. Um, I'm going to be playing a ZBZ against GB1, and... Yeah, this is going to be my first CBZ I've ever played. <clears throat> so, so far I guess I'm ahead of them in supply. So I'm getting my spawning pool up first. He's gonna decide to go hatch first, looks like. Unless he's gonna scout me. Nope, he's going for hatch. I'm, I'm gonna go for an early gas, actually. Just because I have so many mineral workers. I'm gonna go make a hatch with this drone, saturating with these three. <clears throat> so right now I'm kinda just sitting around and gonna build drones. I could have just built a bunch of lings and probably did some serious damage to them. But I don't feel like being cheesy. I wanna get a decent game in. With new units and everything. <clears throat> so, we're everywhere on the map with our overlords. He's actually sending them way over there. They should be on these minerals instead. <clears throat> like he realizes that, yep. Hey, I'm trying to get out a uh, metabolic boost. Help my lings out a little bit. His base is already up, so he's going to start to saturate that a little bit. Me on the other hand, I'm just going to scout out with some wings, still waiting on this base. Don't even have home base saturated yet. But I am going to start attacking this overlord. And I wasn't look paying attention, so I kind of got away. He was on the this ledge anyway, so I couldn't see him. But uh. This queen's about to hatch, and I realize it <coughs> sooner or later. Yep, there it goes. Meanwhile, I'm over here just not taking good enough control of my wings, and I lose them. I saw that, I did in fact see that he got a roach worn up. But I already have mine up, and I'm building roaches right now. So. <coughs> I see another overlord, and I'm like, am I going to get this one too? And he in fact could have put it up there and been perfectly safe. But he decided to try to run over the chasm, and he lost his second overlord. So I mean, that's really bad for him. So now he's got to rebuild two overlords so far. That's 200 minerals. Uh, that's like a third of a, or two thirds of a base. <coughs> so I'm getting my sing second gas geyser open because I really want to pump out roaches. <coughs> and ravagers are 100 100, so. Oh, I mean, overall. I mean, he's got a lot of roaches too. Got the units to have. He actually has more roaches than I do. So. <clears throat> it's not really that good for me. But I have a. Uh, a couple of Ravagers. Which doesn't show up on the tab. But. It's a lot harder to, uh. Use your ability against Zerg because everything just moves so fast. 
and it's a really small AoE. So I'm just trying to get out. <clears throat> I throw a couple shots off, lose the Ravager for it. Only killed one bling with that. So, this things move pretty fast on creep. <clears throat> I actually killed my one of my own units. Uh, he's coming in with a lot more ravagers, a lot of lings. This is a really good unit composition. <clears throat> He's really already taken down my base at seven three quarter minutes. <clears throat> so I mean, he killed off my base. He decides he's gonna let me live just so we can test out more stuff. Good guy. <clears throat> I mean, he's really maintaining his edge anyway. I'm floating a ton of minerals. Haven't been uh, doing anything with them. Just gonna go ahead and rebuild the base. Yep, Ravager kills you too. Uh, I knew I was my Ravager was gonna die anyway, so I went for it. <clears throat> I was just gonna try to get all the Zergling kills out of it. But unfortunately, I failed at doing that. <clears throat> so he's just gonna sit back for a while and let me rebuild. Meanwhile, what does he have going on over here? He's getting two Evo Chambers. Looks like he's been floating a few injects too the amount of energy on these queens. Uh, yeah, obviously I know he's there. He decides to try to kill my overlord off. It only takes three hits to do it. Building a few overlords at once because he's killing all mine. <clears throat> he's actually getting hydras out right now. He's getting his armor and range upgrade. And he's gonna start morphing in a lurker done. So he's just going around looking for overlords. I, mean, I imagine you can see see from that watchtower that I have one up there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. He sees the one overlord. I'm not doing anything better anyway, so I try to do some micro with this overlord. And I lose it. So I just got my Hydra done up. It's kind of moving in on me right now. I see it with this Overlord. I repel them pretty well. But he's gonna regroup with all the stuff. He actually moves all these Overlords out. I don't know why. They must be on his army tab. So I throw off a couple there. The eggs are actually pretty strong. <clears throat> so I was trying to anticipate a shot. I thought they were just going to come right up for me. 
I really whiffed that shot. But I mean, it's only a 10 second cooldown, so... I mean, it wasn't a huge waste, not like I wasted energy or anything like that. It's better to just take the shot, I guess. I had a couple decent shots in, but I don't even see those lurkers. It's getting some really big shots, and I'm standing right on top of them. I actually didn't even know that was happening. This is just the first time I've been uh, <laughs> seeing about it. So he's, he's got all of these overlords out here with him. So I just try to take them all out at once. So, I mean, this becomes like a weird, like, cat and mouse chase when you both have Ravagers. You're just kind of trying to hit each other's ball of units. <clears throat> and if you, like, run into your your own thing, it's going to hit you too, you know. <clears throat> so he's going to go ahead and build his third up. I basically still don't have any money. Actually, I just want to go back just a few seconds just to see that carnage. <clears throat> so all of his overlords are on his control groups. So they're just like going wherever the army goes. So I see him from this overlord. So I'm gonna just throw out a couple things and so much blood all at once. Now he's like, he's actually just decently supply blocked. I think he anticipated on losing him. So, <clears throat> but now he's got lurkers over at my natural. Uh, he was killing off my reinforcements, so I decided to pull the rush back. <clears throat> he moves in with his army. I mean, one thing you could do is, like, plant lurkers somewhere and then just run around with your whole army, try to get the push into it. <clears throat> So I got a decent shot off there, but barely did anything to him, because he's got an upgrade. Lurker's still there. So I decided to get out a few overseers, I didn't realize that they didn't have speed. <clears throat> I got them specifically for these lurkers, which are now not doing anything. So the speedlings are really just kind of messing my day up. So he's got more overlords just going everywhere. So the lurkers moved up. They're now assaulting my natural base. <coughs> I mean, I'm so mineral broke. Because my main just mined out a long time ago. <clears throat> now I can't build any more. So I come in here ready to attack. My overseers took so long to get there. They do 32 damage with that one upgrade. So I just GG out. And that's all. Uh, good game to GB. Uh, there will be more of this kind of stuff in the future. I'll I'll be uploading more. So like, follow, subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. And thanks for watching.